How's it going everybody? Good morning. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is for Can I Call You Rose? Um, been hearing this song a lot. Thought I'd jump in and teach you guys how to play it. Pretty simple song. Two chords in the verse. Two more chords in the chorus. Um, with a few embellishments and stuff. So, throughout the song, the verse, and pretty much most of the entire song, is just G minor 7, so fretting, barring the 3rd fret, and then barring the 1st fret, down at F minor 7. You can do it like this, you can do it like that. I just do it with my thumb and index finger. Now, to get it to sound like the song, sometimes you've got to play the higher version of the chords. So down here we're playing the root note version where the root note was on the heaviest string. Now we're going to play the version that's up on the second or well, the fifth string, but the A string. So we're going to go up to the 10th fret and play a minor 7 shape. So this is 10, excuse the dirty frets, 10, 12, 10, 11, and 10. So it's that. And then the same thing as at the bottom, we're just going to move that down two frets. So this is G minor 7, that's F minor 7. And when, you can, when you're up here, you can use your pinky to do the... chorus has the first chord is an E flat major. I play it as a major 9, you can play it as a major 7 if you want. Um, I'll teach you both. But essentially the root note is the 6th fret of the A string. Your middle two fingers go on the 6th fret, come in one string either sides of the tops and bottoms, if that makes sense. So these two strings here, the A and the B string. Put your index finger now on the 5th fret, below that and your pinky on the seventh fret below that so you got two middle fingers and then one finger either side that's a major nine sounds lovely if you want to do the regular major seven sorry bring you back if you want to do the regular major seven bar the sixth fret and do a backwards triangle shape so it's six eight seven eight all right so it's this, then it goes down to a C minor 7. So same chord as the one up here and here, but now it's just on the third fret. Then we go back to the E flat, and that ends the chorus. Thanks guys.